What you guys got another video here for you now this one's really for the beginner uh, user it's about what kind of uh, version of Windows am I running now when you ask this question when you're asking for support you should always give the version of Windows you're running so that it can help you best okay and most people that are beginning out in computers don't know what version of Windows they're running so if you're an advanced user sorry about this is a bit basic but I need to cover it for those people that need to know what version of Windows they're running I'm going to show you five different ways of finding out what version of Windows you're running okay so the first one we'll look at is the most common way which is going to your start button and going to computer right click and then go properties once you open this up you'll see the system type is 64-bit operating system that's the bit that people are asking you for okay whether you're running a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system now what happens if you're running Metro well I'll show you how to quickly do that in Metro as well so what we're going to do is come up to the Metro interface. I'm going to right click on this space here and then go all apps. Once we open that up, we're going to come up to where it says computer here and right click on this. And then we can then go to properties here and this will do the same thing and open this up and show you what version of Windows you're running. OK, so for you uh, command prompt lovers, we'll do one in command prompt. So we're going to open the command prompt up and uh, have a look in there. So we're going to open up command prompt. And what you want to type in here is set space pro, like so. And if you do that, what it's going to do is it's going to give you the arch architecture of your operating system, which is now 64-bit, as you can see. This works on all Windows, so you can find this out very quick and easy. So if someone is asking you what version of Windows you've got, you can do any one of these methods. Another way, a quick and simple way of doing it, is to look inside your programs folder so let's have a quick look in there so you're going to go into your C drive here and if you've got one folder saying program files it's going to be a 32-bit operating system if you've got two folders in here uh, two program folders uh, yeah. like this then you'll know it's a 64-bit operating system okay another one is a free tool that you can use if you don't want to do all those you can actually download a free tool from this place called 64-bit checker it's a pretty little nifty tool so you can just click on this tool and it's going to help you find out what version you've got so you just double click and up it comes Here you've got a 64-bit operating system very quick and simple and it's great for beginners and as you can see here you can always get a report and post that report on forums if you need help and support you can just open up a save a text file and report and it will actually copy this and put this on there for you okay or you can copy it to clipboard and then paste it into uh, a text file if you want okay okay so now we've got that one the last one which we're going to be looking at is specky it's a free tool you can use which will give you a lot more information which is going to be very useful if you need support on forums and stuff so you can open this up what will happen is it will analyze your system and lo and behold it will tell you you've got Windows 8 Enterprise N 64-bit so now you know you're on a 64-bit operating system there so pretty straightforward a pretty basic video but I just wanted to cover that and give you five different ways of actually knowing how to uh, find out what version of Windows you're running on your system so I hope this has been helpful my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys that will keep you up to date when I upload new videos and also hit the like button and that helps me out in the future. So thanks again for watching and thanks for your support. Bye for now.